enjoy this better. At least that's what you guys voted for on Twitter. I want to start decorating my background really cute. Uh, so far, I just got this going on. I think I need something here. Let me know what I, what I should put here in the comments down below. I feel so like weird with these freckles. I feel like they don't even look natural. But I mean, it's fun or whatever, I guess. And also for today's look, we are doing something light but glam. Well, this is not light for some people. To me, this is like more soft, uh, great for summer, a pop of color. I'm not really feeling these like uh, uneven eyes. I feel like I kind of did it a little weird. I hope you guys like it. I feel so weird, but I mean, it was fun. Uh, yeah, I'm talking way too much. Let's go ahead and get started. I have so many CoverGirl products right now. So I thought this would be the perfect video uh, to introduce you guys to these products. Basically, uh, they came out with a bunch of foundations. I'm sure you guys have seen that. I will get to that really soon. And it also came with some primers. To first start off, I'm going to prime the face. I'm taking the CoverGirl True Blend Base Skin Primer. These primers are new. They came out with a few. Uh, this is the one I'm gonna be using today. I definitely want my skin to look very smooth. Mm. This actually smells really good. I feel like it's giving me some kind of flower scent, kind of like conditioner scent. Or was that just my freaking soap? No, I think it was my soap. Wow. But it doesn't have like an ugly scent. I actually don't even think this smells like anything. So that's cool. Okay, this is really, really soft. Definitely smoothed out the face. I don't want to say it mattified my face. I still feel a little just a little glossy. Now moving on, we are gonna use the Luminizing Lotion. And this is, huh. I feel like you can mix this in with foundation, but what I'm going to do is just kind of dab this all over the face. And it's gonna give me just that nice glow. I'm trying to figure out the smell. I like the glow it's giving me because it doesn't look so bad. Like, it looks like it's naturally coming from me so i'm sure you guys have seen a lot of reviews already on this new covergirl true blend matte made foundation they pretty much sent me a bunch of shades and i've been just trying to give them away to like my family and friends because realistically i'm not going to use all the shades so realistically i don't think i stayed with like my true color i'm either going to mix this or use one of these so i have the color light five zero and medium seven zero and I feel like light would probably be a lot better. But then again, like, I don't mind looking tan sometimes. I think I want to go for the tan color just because when I highlight and everything, I'm able to balance it out. It's actually my first time using this foundation and I'm really excited. It's a matte foundation. I'm all about matte. Okay, so it looks a little darker than my skin tone, but... What y'all do not know is I went to the beach, I want to say like a month ago, and I got so burnt on my chest. So I feel like naturally if I do use a more tan foundation, it will match me. I almost feel like this is oxidizing. So I don't know if going with a darker shade was a good idea. Hopefully with my concealer, we, we can kind of fix this situation because I'm freaking out at this point. I didn't think it would oxidize. Oh my God, this is insane. I was watching Adrian Bailon's uh, video. She actually has a YouTube channel. I'm sure you guys have already come across it. I love watching The Real, so I'm like obsessed with all of them. So when I found out Adrian came out with a channel, I was like, oh my God. In her tutorial, like she uses a really dark foundation, but she's able to kind of balance it out with concealer. So I'm not really tripping. I feel like I got this. I'm going in with a CoverGirl Vitalist, Vitalist. For some really weird reason, I don't know what shade this is. All of the concealers I got have no like name. Oh my God. This is a lot lighter. Kind of reminds me of the MAC highlighting pen. I'm definitely applying a little bit too much. I almost feel like it's kind of drying fast, but the coverage, is for sure there like it dries fast but not fast enough where i'm struggling to blend out the other side of the eye i'm just going to lightly bake the face before we move on to powder just get under those eyes to really uh prevent that from creasing and 
the forehead. Pretty much the center of the face. I'm currently baking the face. So what I'm gonna do while it's baking, I'm going in with the CoverGirl Healthy Powder and this is in the shade Classic Ivory. I love using flat brushes, flat kabukis, because I feel like it just really gives you the best coverage. I mean, really, whatever you're used to. And the great thing is, this is actually, I think, my color. So if I'm looking a little crazy, this is gonna tone it down a little bit. I feel like the foundation underneath kind of clinged really weird. It looks gray. It looks like I have some kind of contour, but it's the foundation under. Okay, this is not working out. I look so bad. I already walked outside to see myself because sometimes the lighting is so different and I just look worse. I'm looking really gray, really patchy. In person, it is so much worse. Like, you guys have no idea. I just have to stop right now and just wash this off. I am back. I primed my face. I illuminated it. I'm starting to think that the primer is the one that smells really good. It was not my hand soap. So since I am starting all over again, I I did notice I didn't use the Healthy Glow highlighters. Since it is cream, we're going to apply it before. And this is in the number three. I almost feel like this is a little tan. Yeah, I feel like my look today is just not there. It's been a bad day, guys, honestly. I was getting my setup ready. I was almost breaking the lights. I think I almost dropped my camera. Like, it's just been not the best day. We're gonna have to switch that. That's looking a little crazy. There's the number two, and I feel like the number two, that seems to be a lot better. I'm going to apply a generous amount. It's kind of like more wet than creamy for this one. I'm not sure why. I think I'm applying a lot just so I could cover the darkness under. Yes, that is giving me that glow. So I'm starting to look a little bit more glowy. As you can see, like I put a lot, but because I applied it underneath, I feel like that won't be a problem. So let's move on to foundation. I'm going to go in with light 50. Let's hope it doesn't change as much. Actually, one thing I forgot to mention was I really tried to moisturize my face before this more than usual because I did notice it was clinging onto my skin. So I noticed with foundations that are usually matte like this, that will happen. So sometimes you really just gotta take that extra step and moisturize a lot more. Like even though I have oily skin, not all my face is like oily, you know? So it's gonna cling in certain areas. Do you see how much better that looks? So I'm gonna wait a little bit while I apply my concealer. We'll see if it does oxidize. And even if it does, I mean, it really can't get as bad as the other foundation. So I'm just going in with my concealer and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just going to bake under the eyes and then we'll move on to the other powder. All right, so I'm baking the face now. I feel like everything is turning out gray. The foundation is kind of oxidizing a little bit. I feel like it's just getting a little darker. Okay, so hopefully the foundation did not cling on me. I'm going to take this powder. This is the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Powder, and this is in the color Classic Ivory. We're gonna use a big fluffy brush this time just because I don't want it to be so cakey. I think the combination of, you know, applying so much powder with the kabuki plus the foundation clinging, it was just overall making it worse. So, oh my God, I think I know what's happening. So I think where I am baking, it's looking fine, but where I'm applying the powder, it's like clinging on the foundation and it's giving me this like streak. I think it oxidizes more when you set it because this already is my skin tone. So that makes no sense to me. I went ahead and set the whole face with translucent powder. Now what I'm going to do is just go over with the face powder. I don't even know at this point if it's a foundation or the powder. All right, so we have the bronzer on. Oh my God, I, I'm still, we're not done. So I can't really tell y'all what I feel yet, but it's definitely, I've been struggling. The bronzer's getting on really patchy. I don't know, like I'm really trying to get to the bottom of it. I don't know if it's the foundation. I don't know if it's the powder. Who knows, maybe it's the primer, like 
something in there is wrong. Like maybe it's not combining right together. We're gonna move on to brows because that's exactly what I need to do right now. All right, so now I'm going in with a CoverGirl Rich Brown Brow Pencil. This is in the number 705. I recently dyed my hair black, so I mean, even before that, I'm, I just really like dark brows, but my hair like doesn't look black. I don't think I dyed it right. I think this is like so waxy to the point where the pigment is not getting on there. It is doing the job and that's really all that matters. The good thing about this not being so pigmented, like it's really hard I guess to get a really bold brow. I applied a little bit of the concealer on the back of my hand so what I'm gonna do is just clean up the brows. Moving on to the eyes, I'm taking the Katie Cat palette by Katy Perry and this is in the shade Hot Cat. I know they have different kinds and I have not ever used any of these palettes so I'm excited to use it. The colors look really nice and shimmery. I'm noticing every color has a little bit of sheen in it. So hopefully that doesn't like show up too shimmery on the crease. So I guess I'll pick this color up first. It's a light brown. It's giving me some fallout, but realistically, I think with like eyeshadow palettes from the drugstore, as long as they're pigmented and they blend out good, a lot of uh, pigmentation. And as you can see, like in the pan, it is something that's uh, gonna get everywhere. It's coming off matte on the eye, which is good. I don't really like using shimmers on the crease. So that looks really pretty. Okay, this is getting a little bit like too powdery on this side. Ooh, girl. I'm going to move on to the next shadow. It looks like a very dark brown. And by the looks, this does not look like it's gonna give me a lot of fallout. You definitely have to build more. I feel like this side is just not grabbing as great. Maybe because of the powder being so powdery, it's giving like a thick layer where the other eyeshadow just does not want to sit properly on top. I almost feel like when I'm starting to blend the edges, the eyeshadow just kind of starts disappearing. Oh my God. Like this side is kind of basically gone, but it's like, Blending out really weird. I'm just gonna go back in with a dark. I have hope, I have hope. I'm going to just really dab it in there. Just making sure that it grips. I don't know what's going on. I feel like it just looks in certain angles, just a little patchy. Ah. You know what, I don't think this eye is looking bad at all. I think this is the only one that's giving me a little bit of trouble. Now I'm going in with the bronzy shade. So this already looks really pigmented. So it seems to have kind of like chunks of glitter in it. I wet the brush a little bit. I wanna see how foiled it could get. Oh, there you go. That's a lot better. Oh my God, yes. I'm trying to be really precise with this, kind of giving myself a cut crease, like that very clean look. So I applied a nude on the waterline. Now I'm just taking the brown again and we're gonna pop this underneath the lower lash. Okay, see, under, underneath the eye, it's like applying great. This shade's the only one that's like so powdery. I just noticed that CoverGirl also has the brow pomade. I do wanna test it out because naturally I do go back and forth with brow pencils and brow pomades. So I'm using the shade 705 and it does come with a little brush, a little angled brush, which is kinda cute. It's so tiny though, like super little. I think I'm just going to focus this like on the outer part. That looks really good. See, I like a really bold brow. This is not for everybody, but for me, I don't mind it. Now we're gonna move on to liquid liner. So we are gonna take this CoverGirl liquid liner in the number 325. I'm not sure if it dries matte. This brush is so precise. Like, you know, sometimes like, when you have to really wing it out so it won't leave like that sharp edge or not the sharp edge, so it won't leave that like blunt edge. This one's giving it sharp, honey, like, whew. I'm really proud of this wing liner. I have to say the only thing that's like, ugh, it's 
glossy. Well, not glossy. It's shiny. It's not matte. And I don't like shiny liners, but I love the brush. My liner has not looked this good in a while. So now to coat my lashes, I'm taking the CoverGirl Peacock Flare Mascara. I like that the mascara has like this rubber part where you can really grip. I'm actually gonna go in with a darker shade. I completely forgot to do this. I'm just gonna pop this underneath. I totally forgot to do this. But this is gonna really like define the eye. I think these are from Temp Makeup. If I remember, I'll definitely uh, let you guys know. But I've had this for a while. So we're not done with the eyes just yet. I kind of want to do like that, like cut crease style using this lipstick. And this is also from CoverGirl. And it's kind of like a coral. It's in the color of Bay. And I'm just going to do like a line right above, like cutting the crease. This is a liquid lipstick. So we're going to see how that looks. I'm going to draw a line right up here. This smells so good. I'm not sure what to feel about this look. Like, I feel like I don't know if I made it worse or like I'm kind of digging this a lot better. I always have this trouble too where I do one like lower than the other. So this one's like, it peeks through when I have my eyes open and this one hides. So I kind of screwed up. So I'm gonna move on to lips. But first, I'm going to line my lips. I don't think I have a CoverGirl lip liner, so I'm just gonna use a regular lip liner. Lips are lined. I use the NARS Precision Lip Liner, and this is in the color, it's just a brown lip liner. And then right over that, I'm going in with a CoverGirl Melting Pout Matte Lipstick. This is in the color Champagne Showers. It's a really nice nude, so we're gonna pop this on right above. And now what I'm gonna do is take the Katy Perry lip gloss and this is actually like a really bright lipstick it's called Tabby T. I want to do a small amount you guys know I love lip gloss but I don't think I have like a nude lip gloss from CoverGirl so I'm gonna do like light little taps and hopefully that could give me the kind of glossy lip I'm going for All right, so we're just about done, but I actually just took a Snapchat picture and I think this is like the first time that I like start using this filter. I've been using it throughout the day and I've been like kind of feeling it. So I got a little inspired with the freckles. So what I'm literally gonna do right now is just do like little freckles. I'm trying to get the most use out of a cover girl. I think I wanna go in with a nude just because I don't want the freckles to be too like dark. I'm going in with cake walk. I have never done freckles before, so I'm really excited. I think to start it randomly. I don't want them to be so big though. I think I'm just gonna go over them a little bit. I don't even know if this looks like real or not. I want to go in with like my sponge and just kind of go right over. I don't even know if this looks real. I'm just gonna go over a little bit just to dab out any like harshness. How do they look? I kind of like them. I feel like they're so obvious though. Like I think I did this wrong. So that pretty much completes this look. I hope you enjoyed it. I feel really like funny with this. I love freckles. I just don't know if they go with me. I don't know if they look like too obvious. Uh, but you know, it's all for fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this like summer makeup look. I'm glad I was able to test out these CoverGirl products. I know I didn't do like a full face using CoverGirl, but it was fun testing out some of the products. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. Also.